I'm here at Creality 3D headquarters in Shenzhen. We're, we're here today to unbox our brand new LCD 3D printer. So to start the unboxing process, we're actually going to flip the box on its side here. We're going to take our, our box cutter and carefully cut the tape. Okay, this is our, this is our accessories box it comes with. It comes with a plastic dust cover for when you're not using your printer. And we can go ahead and take this out. Here's the front of our printer. We'll go ahead and take this out. It comes shipped in one piece. There's minimal construction to do here. Remove the plastic covering. So you can see it has to be opened from the front like that. Remove the rest of the plastic covering. Pull this out. Now that we've taken our printer out of the box and it's ready for assembly, we're going to find the build plate, which is actually packaged inside this styrofoam. Go ahead and pull this out. Now that we've taken our build plate out of the styrofoam, let's go ahead and have a look at our accessories box for the LD001. It comes with the manual shipped. Put that here. It comes with 250 grams of LCD UV resin, a power supply and power cable, tools for simple assembly, and a USB drive, a mask for safety, and one spatula for model removal. Now we'll take a closer look what's in our, at what's in our accessory packet here. We've got one paintbrush for resin removal after your print comes out of the printer. Some simple tools. Latex gloves for safe handling while using the UV resin. An included USB drive to put the models on and, in, and transfer to the printer. A second pair of latex gloves. And some filters for the resin. One final thing that your printer comes with is an extra screen for your basin. This is not an empty bag, and be sure not to mistake it for one, as there is an important piece for your printer in here. Now we can start with the, the assembly process. Before you, before you continue though, you should read the entire manual, and be careful to follow the instructions provided here. We're now going to connect our printer to the power supply, and now we can press the power button to turn our printer on. It'll take a moment to start. While it's doing that, I'll explain the use of these two spatulas. This spatula is for removing any formed resin from the bottom of the basin, here. The metal spatula is for removing your model from the printing surface. Test the Z-axis motor by selecting down. You should see the platform move down about 10 millimeters. And up, it should move up. Once you've confirmed your Z-axis is working properly, you can select the zero function and it will automatically go to the lowest setting on, in the printer. While that is lowering, take out your Allen key set.
Make sure the nuts, the bolts are completely loose and you can screw, unscrew them further with your fingers. You should now be able to see that it can move freely. Now, we are going to take our piece of paper. Once you have a piece of paper, place it over the bottom glass covering of the LCD screen. Once you have your printing platform completely loose, slide it on the piece of paper onto the Z-axis mount until it is completely against the mount, completely set. And now we can tighten that nut. After you've securely tightened all four bolts, make sure that there is a little bit of resistance as you pull the paper and move it back and forth. This means that your printer is properly level. Now, go ahead and raise the printer up by 50 millimeters. It might take a few times to raise the printing surface up enough to put your basin back in your printer. Once you've raised your printing surface up, take your basin, again, being careful not to touch the top or the inside, and place it back in its designated location while tightening the bolts. Once you've leveled your printing surface and inserted the trough into its proper position, you need to test the screen to make sure that it's functioning properly. To do that, select the, systems, the system setting and then screen test. Check inside to make sure that you can see clearly the light turn on through the, through the glass and the trough. Our printer is working correctly and is now ready to print. Once you've prepared your printer for printing, take the USB key that you have put the sliced file onto. Insert the USB key into the clearly marked USB spot on the side of the printer, here. We can now select our first print. Once you see the picture of your print here in the pre-printing display, you can take the USB card out of the slot and the printer has saved your model onto its internal memory storage. You can select print and it will ask you to select two settings. The first setting is for the first layer. How long would you like to expose the first layer? We generally recommend you select a setting between 70 and 90 seconds for exposure time on the first layer. The second setting is for the layer times of all layers after the first. We generally recommend that you set that setting to somewhere between 8 to 12 seconds. Once you have selected the settings that you would like, you can select print and your model will start to print. Once you have finished printing the models that you would like to print and you are done using your printer, we can open up the, the contain the box and we can unscrew the, the screws that hold the basin in place. Carefully slide the basin out from its, its seated position. and place on a flat surface. Take one of, the, one of the supplied funnels with the filter and open up the container of the remaining resin. Now that you're ready to put the remaining resin back into the container it came in, we're going to take one screen filter and put it into the container. As you can see, the trough comes with a mouth that will help you pour the resin safely without making a mess back into the, the funnel that it came in. 
simply slowly pour the resin Now we can take the cap, place it back in place, and secure the lid back on the bottle. This is now ready for safe storage in a dark, cool location.